Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. I'm back again with the update on your screen from Bungoma Senatorial by Election. Today, the Bungoma Governor, Ken Lusaka, has finally accompanied the Ford Kenya candidate, Wafula Okoli, to present his papers to the IEBC. Yesterday, of course, we saw Boni Kalwale leading the UDA party with the UDA candidate Mwamba Mabonga to present the papers at the IBC. Of course, about the DAPK party who, uh, with their candidate Wafula Wamunyinya, of course, the Azimio candidate, because Raila Odinga has already endorsed him, he will be presenting his papers today. I think he will be the last person, but I know we have other people, but those ones will not talk about them because they are not serious candidates who can maybe pull numbers. No, they cannot. So our focus is on these three candidates. <laughs> there is something I want to I want us to check on. The post that Ken Makeno Lusaka did after accompanying their candidate. And then we will also check deeper into it. What role is the National Assembly Speaker Masika Wetangula is going to play in this election? And what is the what is what what role will a uh, can Lusaka also play? <laughs> and then also, the force behind there, as a mere candidate. This is what Ken Lusaka posted. Eh? Escorted our Ford Kenya party candidate for the Bungoma senatorial seat, Wafula Wakoli, on his big day with the Independent Electoral and Boundary Commission, IBC. Mr. Wakoli has been cleared to contest for the Senate seat, a post that was previously held by National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula. As party, we will not leave anything to chance and spare no effort as we seek to ensure that we reclaim our seat. <laughs> they are here to reclaim their seat, get it clear. I at the same time call for the peace elections that is issue based, devoid of insult and theatric to Kutane ground. So Lusaka is obviously confirming that he is ready on ground, amekunja shati, na mukutane huko wakipiga campaign. But there is something Didimas Barada is still continuously doing. <laughs> Didimas Barada took a photo where he was in the company of Wafula Okoli in a campaign, and then he compared with another photo where Boni Kalwale was leading the UDA troops, troops in Bungoma County during the campaign. And this is what, what Didimas Barada is saying. Dr. Boni Kalwale versus Didimas Barada, he, Imeenda, is simply confirming to Boni Kalwale that forget about Bungoma senatorial race. If you check closely, we will see the troop that Boni Kalwale was leading, you can see just merely few people, but we are seeing trucks there and there some other cars. But with the way Mm. Didimas Barada is you can see a huge crowd of course where he is addressing the people with the Ford Kenya candidate but then that's what DAP party has posted today, three hours ago of course from the time I'm recording Send Sangapi, Sanane Kamili our party leader Wamunyinyi will this, will this today present his nomination paper to the IABC for clearance to vie as Senator Bungoma County. Wamunyinyi and the Azimio Entrage will do a lap of honor across the county and seek backing of locals. DAP Mwamuko Mpia. You can see the photos there of Fula Wamunyinyi, Senator Bungoma County, New Beginning. Pia kuna logo ya Azimio la Umoja with the five stars Kura. Kura Kwanza Mpia. <laughs> that is the post. So this is the rest. But I want to shortly to listen to Wafula Wamnini. And at the tail end, I will tell you the reason why I believe strongly that this race is between the Azimio candidate and the Ford Kenya candidate. Listen to Wafula Wamnini. This was a day before uh, he presented his paper to IABC. Bumble, climbing, 
tumekuwa hapa na wale viongozi kutoka mashinani wale walikuwa MCA candidates wa azimio wote kutoka kwa constituency zote wamekuwa na sisi hapa kwenye mkutano ili tupange mambo ya campaign yetu presentation of papers on Friday na campaign yetu namna itakuwa conducted and I'm happy to tell you that uh, our viongozi wote pamoja tumekubaliana tutafanya campaign pamoja tukimaliza presentation of papers to the IBC returning of staff on Friday in the afternoon we kick off our campaigns na itakuwa marathon we know that Buda Mchache this is not an ordinary election the by election na Buda Mchache kwa hivyo sisi tutaingia marathon from Friday kwenda mbele tukiwa pamoja tutaenda mashinani we have not been mashinani but now after presentation of papers tutaingia huko kwa ground nimesema na nataka kurudia kazi yangu majukumu kubwa ni kuhakikisha tunafuata interest maslahi ya mkulima wa miwa nifuate hiyo sugar bill ambayo iko katika senate that i sponsored katika national assembly na ikakuwa ma senate ninaenda kuifuata ni hakikisha imepita ili ukulima wa mwiwa alipo pesa yake within 7 days akishakata miwa yake ili importation of sugar is mamishwe wakati haitajiki sukari isletwe katika Kenya ili sector ya sukari katika nchi yetu iwe na framework ya uongozi iwe na sheria ya kulinda kila kitu ambacho inafanyika na tuwe na sugar board na viongozi ambao wamechaguliwa na wakulima wenyewe kuwakilisha katika hiyo sugar board so this is a big issue for us tumeona nzoya mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nimeweka amendment na wenzangu kwa privatization report pale leto kwa bunge last time na wenzangu David Sel na wengine wakanisaidia tukasimamisha the sale of sugar companies and particularly Shamba we have got 14000 hectares of land ya Nzoia ambayo ni ya jamii ya Bungoma na inataka kuuzwa hiyo mimi naenda kuhakikisha inasimamishwa i am very sure hao wenzangu waheshimiwa wale wanataka hii kiti hakuna ule ataweza kumwambia serikali ya Kenya kwanza isimamishe hiyo mpangisi mimi tu nitaweza kufanya kwa niaba ya watu wa Bungoma Now we are continuing with the panel discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and they are yet to subscribe please consider subscribing so that another time once we release a video like this one you will always get notified again to all our channel subscribers and on the comment those who have joined the channel membership and those who are super chatting us in our premier and those who are reaching uh, to us through mpesa a massive thank you so much to all of you for your unconditional support Then I'm also requesting you to give this video a thumbs up and by the way by giving a thumbs up is also another way of supporting our work. Thank you and back to our discussion. Definitely what is emerging here starting from Ken Makelo Lusaka. It is clear that the Bungoma governor is going to play a pivot role in Ford Kenya party as far as the by election campaign is concerned so ken lusaka is the man at the center of ford kenya campaign in bungoma it's now coming clear because i was waiting to see how uh, masika wetangula is going to balance his speaker duty and uh, the campaigns in bungoma so definitely wetangula is like he has made a decision that he will continue to do his work but give a chance to the senior politicians in Bungoma kama huyu governor to lead the troops but it's like Watangula has also hired eh, another person to campaign in Bungoma for the Ford Kenya party and the hired gun here is one Didmas Barasa so definitely you won't see Watangula too much in the campaign within Bungoma maybe he will appear two three days may, uh, uh, at the till end there or if we we'll see things not working in favor of Ford Kenya party that's when maybe he will be there in the village i'm saying this because i know some time back 
he was there and he was trying to address on how campaigns are going to go. So Ken Lusaka is the man to lead the Ford Kenya troops in Bungoma. Secondly, the DAPK party has more interest in Bungoma. Remember, they have more MCS in Bungoma after Ford Kenya party. So using their MCS and other elected leaders in Bungoma County, they are also uh, serious to check on the campaign there. They have definitely mounted their tent there and they are going to camp and campaign for Wafula Omunina. Remember, if Wafula Omunina will manage to win this seat, then this will be a warning shot to William Samoy Ruto government that Kenyans are tired, they are sick with his government and leadership. So if Azimia will manage, I don't know if Raila Odinga will make his way to Bungoma, but I think this election, this by-election will also provide an opportunity for Raila Odinga to use this campaign to expose some of the mistakes that UDA or Kenya Kwanda government has managed to do. Eugene Omanwa need to use this opportunity also to come out strong and uh, plant a sense of leadership in Bungoma County during this campaign and see if he can out he can outwit Masika Wetangula in this by election. Other leaders like Akinanan, I think they are there. To see how the campaign will go. <laughs> so we want to see will the campaign is Takwakule Bungoma and then the issue of UDA party. For UDA, in my own view, I think it is an embarrassment and this greediness that William Ruto and his party is trying, is trying to portray in Bungoma County. There was no way William Ruto would fight Masika Wetangola in Bungoma even after helping him to win this election. And this also is also another message or notice that William Ruto is sending to Masika Wetangola. There is no friendship in politics. What matters is just interest. So Ruto is showing some level of greediness in as much interest comes first. And then, maybe, just maybe, UDA candidate is going to be embarrassed on ballot. For me, I strongly still believe that Ford Kenya and the DAP are people to watch in this election. So Wafula Okoli is a candidate, a strong candidate I'm seeing there. A man who has been working as a PA to Masika Wetangula, and then I'm seeing Wafula Omnina. Mboma Bonga will be seen as a betrayer to Bungoma County because Bungoma voted for William Ruto overwhelmingly, but again, they voted for Ford Kenya candidates. So bringing a UDA candidate is a betrayal to Ford Kenya Party. So that is the position I'm seeing as of late, but we're going to see how UDA. Sorry, how Eugene Omalwa is going to manage to lead the DAP party. Remember, Fula Wamunyinyi is the current DAP party leader. But we know the owner of the party, Eugene Omalwa. <laughs> Thank you. See you in our next video, but we can meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. I want to read your comments. What's your view about the Bungoma senatorial by-election race?